hi today i want to illustrate or show you how you can model a car in on ship and i will focus on this bmw i have some blueprints for this although they are not 100 percent similar but let's see how you can model just some section a section of the bmw just to make you get started if you open the part studio i want not to create we need we need this front side top and bottom and around four view the first one we need is, is to create a sketch on front view you sketch new sketch then you need uh, an image for the car you want to model and i'm using uh let me now start by front view we need not to see a front view then back view side and top this are what, what we need then select front view then you draw like that okay then you press F P to hide planes. I need this point to be middle of this. Therefore, you select the midpoint, this line and this point. Okay. I've just drawn uh, this shape. That's how you insert an image. You only need to dimension one side. That becomes a uh, fully defined that's the front plane that's the front sketch on the, for the front the front view you can now select ok and we can now rename this as my you can press shift n shift n to rename as front view because now this one is a front view Next, we need side view that is on the right plane. New sketch. You press N to be normal. Insert, insert the image that is the side side view. I'm using a side view. Select the image from the origin. You draw like that. You can snap this you can snap this point to this point or we can dimension this length to be 45 80 the reason why i didn't snap this point to this point is because we have to make sure that your image is scaled because you can see you have some error here of 17 mm always make sure that your image is scaled correctly this one is a uh, side view then we need a top view therefore i make a sketch on top plane new sketch like that let me insert uh, an image on top view let me draw somewhere outside you can see now the the image is not oriented as we want because we want this image to rotate that's fine we can always do that because we want now this image to rotate therefore we can first define this length of of 20 of 20 of 45 80 45 80 then we need this point the center point of this line and this origin but now we need you can see it is oriented in a wrong position we can now use what we call transform 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 everything 
the point of rotation here to be that point rotate this one up to up to 90 you can see now it, it it becomes it loses the the it was fully defined because not it can move then you can now select the midpoint of this line and origin here to be to have a fully defined image you can call this one a uh, top top view like that you can see now we have a side view front view top view if we need back view that's the front back right and left therefore we need back view therefore because we don't have a plane we need to offset a plane from the front we have to offset a plane by the same amount of 45 ad on opposite direction then i can always pull it above here to make sure my my tree looks neat call it a back back plane then we need not to sketch on back plane and insert an image that is a back view like that and we can now draw like that you can see this one and this one are equal then we can say that this and this are coincident then this point and this line are horizontal they are uh, coincident yeah you see now what happens when you, you you when you use that method you have to be very careful when using relations in images yeah because you might use a different you might select a different a, a, a different line something is off this is supposed to be two, you can see this length is supposed to be 0.05 therefore i discourage using that type of constraint just dimension supposed to be 2.05 like supposed to be similar similar to the front view then select the midpoint of this one here to this just note the precision of your design of a car will be depend on your brute how accurate is your blueprints and how do they have the same scale all those factors they have to be considered okay then i need to rename make it a habit of renaming shift and call it back view okay this one is a very fast step step one for the for the car for the car design in on tape in my next video i'm now going to illustrate how you can now start start using the blueprints here to model bmw i'm going to model one side the this side here of bmw just to get you started thank you let's meet next